What is up guys, John Anthony from MasculineDevelopment.com. And I saw a video recently entitled, uh, Man Handcuffed for Offending Girl, I think something like that. And uh, you know, I usually don't like to talk about politics or culture. I like to stay uh, focused on you know how you can get jacked, get girls, etc. But this was just too good to pass up. So I'm gonna go over this video real quick and kind of give my thoughts. So the title of this video is called Handcuffed for Offending Someone. That is right, handcuffed for offending someone. And uh, as all of my comrades know, of course, uh, this man must have said something terribly, terribly offensive to deserve being handcuffed because we all know that people's feelings are more important than, than the law, right? People's feelings are more important than, uh, than telling the truth or, or having fun or freedom, right? So let's see what terrible, terrible ways this, this white male abused his privilege and didn't check it. Right off the bat, right off the bat, call him a white boy. I don't care personally. Uh, I don't care. I have thick skin. But as you're going to see, guys, the hypocrisy here is incredible. They throw insults at him, do all kinds of shit, and uh, you'll see. You'll see. Then I was probably going to ask you, you know, what made you wear this out tonight? Are you a bomb? <laughs> so right off the bat, okay. Uh, he asked her a question. She's kind of rude multiple times. Hillary Clinton, is that the only thing? What do you mean? Well, she's kind of rude. So he teases her back and uh, she does not take it well. And her friends don't take it well. And the beta male here... Sees his chance. He sees his chance. Maybe if I agree with the girls, they'll fuck me, right? Let's rewatch that. Look at look at his reaction. He's staring at them very intently. How are the girls reacting? What do they think? I need to agree with everything they say so I can get laid. Look at that right there. That's the face of a cuck, my friends. Yeah. What kind of question is that, right? What? Are you kidding? He's he's literally parroting them. He's literally parroting. The gaggle of women. That is white knight psychology 101. Yo, look at them shaming me, guys. Holy shit. Yo, these girls He's like looking at them too and trying to like rile them up as well. He goes in for the move, goes in for the kill. No, she didn't get the joke. Can I touch you, miss? Can I have some spare a crumb of pussy, please? Can I have some vagina? <laughs> Doesn't work, of course. Because he's a cock and a beta male. Yo, wait, oh, are you still talking subs? Oh damn. Let me let me uh let me stop talking and let me play the clip. <laughs> yo wait, yo wait, oh, are you still talking subs? Oh damn. Yo, I like this. I like this. God damn. Yo. So right here, he's a little bit uncalibrated, okay? Uh so he tries to escalate on her by putting his hand on her right after he offended her friend. Which just from a PUA perspective is, is not a good move, right? And I'm, and I'm not like attacking him or anything like that. Just saying from, from a, so you guys understand this, like that's not a good move generally is logistically. Uh, and, and from a PUA perspective, whenever you offend someone, you don't want to try to escalate. Um, so yeah, he puts his hand on her. She pushes it off. He's, on, he's a little bit uncalibrated, probably drunk, having a good time. It's not a big deal, but just so you know. Talking subs. Oh damn. Yo, I like this. He's very confident. So he doesn't, you know, he's not affected by it. She's kind of a little bit taken aback, but you can see there is a little bit of, like a little bit of, uh, she's kind of like 10% of her is turned on that he just doesn't care. 90% uh, is still going to side with the friends, obviously, because, you know, females value uh, and men do too value friendship uh, oftentimes more than, uh, than getting laid. Yo, these girls are drunk. Yo, yo, let's fail, let's fail. So he bounces, he bails. And apparently that cop right there is the guy <laughs> to keep an eye on. So she, she comes in and smacks him, right? And this is female privilege 101 right here, guys. Women can uh, assault you, smack you, hit you, do all kinds of shit. I sound like really bitter right now. I'm actually not. Um, I'll address that at the end of the video. I'm, I'm not bitter at all. I think that uh, this is normal and I kind of accept reality at this point. But, uh, you know, 
just objectively speaking, it is a complete double standard. She's still offended, right? He hurt her fragile. They say they say masculine uh, ego is fragile or whatever it is. Masculinity is so fragile, that stupid fucking hashtag. Feminine ego is a lot more fragile than masculine ego. Sorry I offended you. He apologizes. Cool. He shouldn't have to. She's being really aggressive. Smacked him a few times. Her friend smacked him. Smacked the mic out of his hand. Because he made a fucking joke. Uh, you know, even so, he still apologizes, so he's just like being a good overall human being, good man. Uh, they don't care though, of course, as you'll see. I'm sorry. No, no, you were probably in a Smacks him again. Bike accident or something like that. Imagine if three dudes, if a girl was interviewing people, and she said that you look like a dad, and those three dudes smacked her. Like that would be a national travesty and on the news for fucking five months, right? They would never, they would never let us, uh, you know, get away from that, right? They would, they would never let us hear the end of that. It would, there would never be an end to it. Um, but of course, because the sexes are reversed, it's different. Uh, no, here, no, no, I'm not trying to go 21st century or anything like that. No, no, let's just. Check TV, bro. No. Here we go. Here we go. Cop, what did they say to you? Were you offended by that? All right, turn around and put your hands behind your back. No. Are you a mom? Look at this. Mm. No. No. Do you hear the arrogance in her voice when she says that? Do I look like a mom, right? I got you arrested. Do I look like a mom now that I leveraged my vagina to get you arrested? This guy right here, he needs to lose his job. That cop, he needs to lose his fucking job. That, that one does too, for not speaking up and saying, hey dude, you can't arrest someone for offending someone. Like he, sh he should be speaking up, come on. At least one guy's speaking up here in the background. Do you hear the way she says that? As if that's like, like in her mind, in her mind, it is okay to get a man arrested because he jokingly teased you. Like that, that is the level of arrogance in this woman. And that is disgusting. And I hope that she hits the wall hard, loses all her looks and cannot find a fucking husband. I genuinely hope that that happens. <laughs> I genuinely hope that it happens. And I think it will. So apparently the cop uh, let him go after like a few minutes, uh, which I guess is good that he wasn't thrown in prison. But the fact that that cop thinks it's okay to literally handcuff someone because he offended a girl shows how fucked up so many aspects of our society is, right? Um, and, you know, in the cop's defense, maybe he was just thinking, hey, let me just, you know, handcuff this guy for 30 seconds. This girl is going to, you know, cause trouble handcuff the guy for 30 seconds so the girl is just kind of placated and then let the guy go. But even so, you should not do that because you're teaching this woman that it's, you know, it's okay for her to do this. You're teaching her that she can leverage her vagina to get someone arrested because they offended her. And, you know, that is a red flag. Mark my words. Uh, I would not be surprised if this girl has, you know, thrown false rape allegations everywhere left and right at guys that's you know, she regretted sleeping with the next day or some stupid bullshit like that. I would not be surprised. And uh, guys, uh, like I kind of alluded to before, it's easy to get angry at, uh, you know, that girl, for example. But the real place to direct your anger is at the men that are in power that are allowing it to happen, right? If those cops didn't arrest him, that video would have never went viral. Uh, you know, no one would have been upset. It's the fact that those weak, white knight, beta male, chode, cuck, fucking cops arrested him that made this video go viral and that made everyone so upset, myself included, right? Uh, I made a video recently called Why You Can Never Trust Beta Males, and I'll put a, a link up here somewhere uh, in this video you can click on. And the idea is that you can never trust a beta male because fundamentally he puts 
his desire for female validation before honor, uh, you know, and as a man, that is just not a good place to be, right? Because if you value female validation and, and you know, getting pussy more than you value having a backbone, having a moral code, having a spine, you're going to be blown about uh, left and right by the winds. You're actually going to get neither, funny enough. You won't, you won't have a moral code or you won't get girls because girls aren't attracted to spineless men, right? Um, and so again, guys, direct your anger, direct your energy in the right place. That's super key. Get mad at the cops that are doing this, not the girls, right? You know, they're just, there's a million, you know, bitchy, angry girls, whatever. It's the cops that you want to get mad at here. Those two cops, especially the one that initiated the arrest. That's who you want to get mad at here. Um, so I want to end on a good note too. So, you know, if you uh, don't go out frequently uh, and you only watch these types of videos, you're going to have a very skewed view of the world. Uh, the reason that this video is so, uh, you know, so shocking is because this doesn't happen often, right? Nine times out of 10, in fact, 99 times out of 100, when you go out and you know you say something uncalibrated to a girl, she gets offended, whatever it is, she'll just walk away or you'll just walk away and you'll never see her again. And don't get me wrong, I've had my fair share of you know mean bitchy girls that can get away with it because you know they have vaginas, you know, uh, they'll, you know I've had girls throw drinks at me and shit like that, you know, uh, spill vodka on my shirt, stuff like that. Uh, you know, which kind of funny enough actually is, is kind of uh, cool because like now they have to pay more for a drink or go get another drink. So fuck them. <laughs> um, but, you know, the real thing to keep in mind, guys, is it's weak men that allow this to happen. Right. Uh, you know, if men just collectively stopped dating girls like this, giving girls like this attention, putting up with the girls like this, entertaining girls like this, if men just collectively, you know, manned up for a better uh, for lack of a better term this shit would disappear overnight, right? So keep that in mind, guys. That's why I think the work that I do, the work that the Manosphere does, the work that the Red Pill community does is so fucking important because when we get enough chodes like this, like that cop in our society, and they start getting into positions of power in, you know, administrative offices and in, you know, uh, 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 law enforcement offices and, you know, political offices, when you get enough people that are cucks and chodes uh, into power, then that enables these types of women to wreak havoc on, on the average man. So, um, you know, the red pill is important. Share it with your friends, share it with your family. Uh, red pill people slowly. You can't do it overnight. It's going to take time, but, you know, do your best. Um, if you want to check out my products as well, there's links down below. I just released a new book called Elite Dating Secrets on Amazon, which you can check out. It has uh, 11 gold uh, five five-star reviews. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that so far. And uh, yeah, guys, if you have any questions or comments, let me know. Uh, let me know if you enjoy these kind of critique videos more than you enjoy my typical, uh, you know, content where I explain things with game theory and, and fitness and stuff. And uh, please subscribe if you like my content and I will see you guys next time.